Title, The Night the Curtain Fell. It was a chilly October evening, and the Kansas City Chiefs had just wrapped up a tough game. Travis Kelsey, tight end and the face of the team, was hoping to retreat to his quiet post-game routine. But that night, peace was elusive. As Travis sat in the locker room scrolling through his phone, his heart dropped. Headlines screamed at him, filling his screen. Diddy exposes Taylor Swift in shocking new revelation. His pulse quickened, he tapped the link, and a video of Diddy at a glitzy party began to play. Surrounded by flashing cameras, champagne flutes, and celebrities, Diddy leaned into the microphone with an eerie smile. Y'all think you know Taylor Swift, huh? He began, his voice smooth and cold. But let me tell you, the world's about to see the real her. The crowd around him grew still, sensing the gravity of what was about to unfold. Back in the day, Diddy continued, Taylor wasn't the innocent, girl next door you all think she is. Nah, there's more, much more, to her story. Let's just say some of her rise to fame. It wasn't as clean as people think. Gasps erupted in the crowd as Diddy hinted at old rumors and buried scandals, something the public had never been privy to. The music mogul stopped short of giving details, but the damage was done. His words carried venom, casting shadows over Taylor's squeaky clean image. Travis felt the ground shift beneath him. He had only recently begun dating Taylor, and while things had been going well, they were now a public spectacle. The media buzz had been relentless, and Taylor had confided in him about the pressures she faced, the weight of fame on her shoulders. But this, this was different. His phone buzzed. A message from Taylor. Travis, we need to talk. He raced to his car and sped through the night, his mind swirling with confusion and dread. He reached Taylor's home, where she sat on the couch, staring blankly at the television. Her eyes were swollen, tears having dried on her pale cheeks. The light in her normally bright gaze was dimmed, as if she had been hollowed out by the revelation. They've been after me for years, she whispered, her voice trembling. There are things, mistakes from the past that I tried to leave behind. But Diddy knows them all, and now, now everyone will, too. Travis sat beside her, feeling helpless. He reached for her hand, but Taylor pulled away, her voice cracking. You don't understand. This could ruin everything. A storm of emotions built within him, conflicting thoughts about love, loyalty, and truth. He didn't know if he could handle this, if their relationship could survive such an onslaught from the press and the public. The woman he had grown to care for was now the center of a scandal, and her reputation, along with theirs, was on the line. The next morning, the tabloids ran wild. Taylor's name was smeared across every outlet, with Diddy's veiled accusations dissected in gruesome detail. Speculation of her connections, past relationships, and secret deals became headline news. At practice, Travis couldn't concentrate. His teammates noticed, but no one dared ask. His mind was miles away, consumed with protecting Taylor from the chaos now threatening to consume her. That night, after returning home from another exhausting day of dealing with the media frenzy, Travis finally broke. He sat on the edge of his bed, head in his hands, tears streaming down his face. He had always been strong, always able to push through adversity on the field. But this, this was something he couldn't fight. His chest tightened as he sobbed bitterly, the weight of it all overwhelming him. Title. The Revelation. In the vibrant city of New York, the annual Met Gala was in full swing. Celebrities floated around in extravagant outfits, but all eyes were on the A-list duo, Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. The Kansas City Chiefs tight end had spent the last few months in a whirlwind romance with the pop superstar, and their presence together had ignited a media frenzy. As the night progressed, the buzz of excitement was palpable. Travis, dressed in a sleek black suit, beamed with pride beside Taylor, who was glowing in a stunning gown adorned with shimmering sequins. They were the epitome of a power couple, exchanging laughs and sweet glances. But then, everything changed. As the clock approached midnight, Sean, Diddy, Combs took to the stage to address the crowd. With his signature charisma, he captivated the audience, reminiscing about the old days and the importance of love. But suddenly, his tone shifted. Let's talk about the truth, though, Diddy said, his voice echoing through the grand hall. There are things happening in the shadows that the public doesn't know. The crowd fell silent, anticipation hanging heavy in the air. Diddy had a reputation for stirring the pot, and he was about to do it again. 
I heard a little rumor, Diddy continued, glancing knowingly at Taylor. Taylor's next album, it's not just about heartbreak. It's about betrayal, by someone she trusted. Travis felt the air in the room shift. A chill ran down his spine. He squeezed Taylor's hand, but she was already tense, her expression shifting from joy to confusion. Is it someone in this room? Diddy continued, the crowd leaning in. Someone who's been playing both sides, smiling while plotting behind their back. He paused, allowing the tension to build. What would you say if I told you it was someone she's been close with? Travis felt a lump in his throat. He had a sinking feeling. The whispers grew louder, and all eyes turned to Taylor. Diddy's words hung in the air like a storm cloud ready to burst. Who? Taylor managed, her voice barely above a whisper. Diddy smirked, clearly enjoying the moment. Let's just say, some secrets are meant to be revealed, and some friends are not what they seem. Travis couldn't hold back any longer. Diddy, what the hell are you talking about? His voice rang out, a mix of anger and confusion. But before Diddy could answer, the atmosphere shifted even further. A guest in the crowd stood up, their phone in hand. Guys, you need to see this, they announced, pulling up a social media post that showcased a private message. It was an alleged conversation between Taylor and someone labeled as a close friend, discussing Travis in a less than flattering light. Gasps filled the room, Taylor's face fell, and Travis felt his heart drop. He could see the tears welling in Taylor's eyes. The revelation was shocking. The crowd murmured, some whispering about betrayal and others taking out their phones to share the news. Travis turned to Taylor, his heart racing. Taylor, I swear I didn't know, he pleaded, but she was already backing away, her expression a mix of hurt and disbelief. The tears streamed down her cheeks as she looked at Travis, her voice breaking. You don't understand, I thought I could trust everyone. I thought we were, I thought we were building something real. Travis felt the weight of her words crushing him. The cameras flashed, capturing the moment of heartbreak. He wanted to reach out, to hold her, but he knew this wasn't just about him anymore. Taylor, please, he whispered, desperation in his voice. I care about you, you have to believe me. Title, A Symphony of Heartbreak. In the glittering heart of New York City, the buzz of the celebrity world was at an all-time high. Travis Kelsey, the charismatic tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs, was the subject of countless headlines, both for his athletic prowess and his blossoming romance with pop sensation Taylor Swift. Fans and critics alike adored their connection, believing it was a love that could withstand the trials of fame. But one fateful evening, the harmony was shattered. Diddy, the legendary hip-hop mogul, hosted a lavish party at his penthouse, where the elite gathered to celebrate success, music, and influence. Among the guests were celebrities from all walks of life, but the atmosphere took a sharp turn when Diddy took to the stage for an impromptu speech. Tonight, I want to unveil some truths, he declared, his voice commanding attention. The crowd quieted, anticipation hanging thick in the air. There are things we don't know about the people we idolize. And tonight, I'm about to expose one of the biggest secrets. Travis stood in the crowd, a champagne flute in hand, his heart racing. He glanced at Taylor, who was seated nearby, her eyes wide with concern. Diddy continued, we all love Taylor Swift, but did you know she has a darker side? A side that she's kept hidden from all of us. As Diddy began to reveal allegations that Taylor had manipulated her image to maintain her status in the industry, gasps echoed around the room. He spoke of relationships built on image rather than love, of friendships that crumbled under the weight of betrayal. Each word was like a dagger, and Travis felt his heart sink deeper into his chest. Taylor, who had always been an open book to her fans, now looked like a deer caught in headlights. The room buzzed with whispers as Diddy's revelations rolled on, painting a picture of deception that Travis had never imagined. He felt a mix of anger and sadness, was any of it true? Had their relationship been built on a lie? As Diddy's words hung in the air, Travis couldn't take it anymore. He stepped outside onto the balcony, the cool night air failing to calm the storm inside him. He leaned against the railing, fighting back tears as he thought of the moments they shared, the laughter, the late-night conversations, the way Taylor had looked at him with such genuine affection. But doubt began to creep in, eating away at the foundation of their love. Inside, the party continued, but Travis was lost in his thoughts. He had always admired Taylor's strength and resilience, but now he wondered if he had been naive. 
Did she really have secrets? Was he just another pawn in her game? Suddenly, Taylor joined him on the balcony, her face pale and drawn. Travis, please, she pleaded, her voice trembling. You know me. You have to believe me. I want to, he said, his voice barely a whisper. But what did he said? Diddy is trying to create drama, she interrupted, her eyes glistening with unshed tears. He's been waiting for a moment like this to make headlines. You know I've never been anything but honest with you. Travis turned away, overwhelmed. I don't know what to believe anymore. Don't let him tear us apart, she urged, stepping closer. I love you. What we have is real, despite what anyone says. But the cracks in his heart were deepening. I just, I don't want to be a part of your public persona. I want the truth. At that moment, the dam broke within Travis. He turned to face Taylor, tears streaming down his cheeks. I just don't want to get hurt. Not by you, not by this world.